Hey, howdy guys. So today, I am here in the Sequoia National Park. I mean, this place is absolutely unbelievable. Check out this tree. This is just one, one tree. This isn't even a name tree. This, I don't know, this is, this is, this, this tree's a nobody, but <laughs> it's amazing here in this park. And while I'm here, I thought I'd go ahead and do a review on my Fujifilm X-T3 and talk about why I think it's still the best camera of 2019. So let's go. So why do I think that the Fujifilm X-T3 is the best camera of 2019 still? Well, one of those reasons is the film simulations. The colors that you're gonna get out of the Fujifilm are incredible. So what Fujifilm has done is they literally took their old film and scanned it and digitized it so that it could be used on a digital camera. A lot of other companies aren't doing it. They have beautiful color science. For instance, Canon has beautiful color science, but it doesn't have that film quality look that I personally really like. It's highly stylized and there's just so many different options that you have with the X-T3 really a good plus in my opinion. So another great thing about the Fujifilm X-T3 is the frame rates and resolution. You can do 4K at 24 and 60 frames a second, which still a lot of cameras can't do the 4K at 60 these days, which I think is kind of odd. And you get 120 frames per second in 1080, which of course it's kind of the thing on YouTube, but it does look really good. So I do think that the frame rates is kind of another area where the Fujifilm X-T3 is kind of standing out over a lot of other cameras. And another thing on that note is the bit rates. You can do up to 400 megabits per second at 4K 24, and I believe at 4K 60 as well. I mean, come on, that's insane. I, also, what else is insane is that I'm, I'm literally standing in a Sequoia. I, yeah, only in California. Another really great thing about the Fujifilm X-T3 is the autofocus. I am used to Canon dual pixel autofocus. I had a Canon camera before I bought this Fuji camera and I gotta say, the Fujifilm does really, really well. It has built-in face and eye tracking and pretty decent object tracking as well. I've really had no issues. In fact, I am trusting the autofocus right now to hopefully be on my face because I don't have a flip screen. And I will say that is probably one of my only complaints about the Fujifilm X-T3. I love everything about it except no flip screen. It makes it really hard to do moments like this and it kind of makes me miss my Canon just a little bit every time I have to do a vlog, but still, autofocus on the Fujifilm X-T3 is top notch. Also, look right here. This is the General Grant Sequoia tree. It's not even the biggest as you can see. My dad way down there in the bottom left hand corner compared to that giant giant there oh my gosh there's the top way up there and it's only the third largest here that's insane so the general grant tree is the third largest tree by volume is how they measure it it is the widest tree at the base of any known sequoia and it's not one of the oldest actually they said it's younger than the oldest by 1500 years but apparently it's in such an ideal area for it to grow that's why it was able to grow to such an enormous size. Now, when I say that the Fujifilm X-T3 is the best camera of 2019, well, what do I mean by that? Because obviously there are better cameras. You have, for instance, the Canon C200, which shoots raw video, or you have the Nikon Z6, which shoots a lot of the same specs, but it's full frame. So what am I saying here? Well, what I'm saying is that as an entire package for the price point that it is at. I think that the Fujifilm X-T3 is the best kind of bang for buck value. Additionally, this camera has something that a lot of other cameras just don't have for me and that it inspires me to use it more. Does that make any sense? I just, when I pick up this camera, I want to shoot photos with it. I want to shoot video with it. It makes me want to create content, which is kind of the point of all of this. So. I think that it just, that's just something that, I don't know that I explained it well, it's just, it's something that's personal to me. When I pick up this camera, I wanna use it and I bring it with me everywhere because of that. So I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Sequoia National Park with me, seeing all these beautiful, amazing places. I really, really enjoy coming out here and making these videos for you guys. So if you enjoyed it, leave me a like, I do appreciate it. And as always, thanks for hanging.